Okay, so we're doing another replay. It'll be fun, right? I don't know. We'll see. Looking forward to it though, when we do this. So, I'm playing the Tomb Kings and I'm fighting the Gobble King, calling himself Sparkle Bunny as the Beastman. Uh, yeah, so I basically sniped him on the stream for shits and giggles, and I hate this. It always loads to here, and then it stops. Oh? No? Okay, finished. Or oh, has it? Okay, so we go with the armies. Me, I have a front line of skeletons with uh, the Redmond Renowned Skeleton Spears on the flank. Doom Guard on the sides, archers just shoot the centigars, Necar horsemen and the uh, Necro Sphinx and Setter on the chariot and two skeleton archers. And here he has three Vestigars. Centigars. We create weapon, I always get those two mixed up. Three centigars with throwing axes, Kazrak one eye on his chariot, like if you can call that a chariot. What items? The apocalyptic vision and scourge and shadows with uh, enfeebling flow and the uh, damage one. Zygar, Vestigar, Spearman. Also, I have the two carrion in the corner. So, let's go. I'm basically showing this replay for one thing. There goes my judgment of now. Lost nine guys from that rock. He's okay though. Archer's going up to kind of do damage if they can. Now this is what I notice, I start lining up against the uh, Centigars. I move Setra up maybe to see, considering like, there are Vestigar herd. He is an anti-infantry armor person, so I kind of want him up there. But then, looking at it, I kind of like, no, he needs to come back at some point. Anyway, so I start boxing up. I see what he does. Now there's going to be an engagement here that Gabo really shouldn't be taking. So, Setra on the chariot is going to activate his ability riser. When do I activate it? Do I activate it? Yeah. Okay, so Setra's ability. He's being enfeebled fold, which is fine. It's, well, zero. Yeah, but anyway. He's being blinded. He's applying blind to these centigars, well, not yet. Okay, now they are. So. These centigars all have zero, one melee attack and zero melee defense. While my Nekahar horsemen are being buffed with plus 33 melee attack, 40 melee defense, and uh, 16 bonus versus large. And the one that doesn't have the magic just has 42 melee attack. But still, it's enough. And basically, nobody ever seems to suspect or use Setra's ability. That Setra is less bl blade of Petra. And it just, it, I, there's so many times where I've won a cab engagement that I shouldn't have because people just charge Setra like this. And they just lose all their stats. So what's happening over here? Built and archers came back. Archers shooting at Santa Claus with their, their drawing axes. Uh, Kevin Rossman is just warding these guys off, getting uh, Tomb Guard or Halberds into Kazrak as you do, and Kazrak will be unable to pull out of this since the Setra just has so much more mass, and Setra's not going to let that sorry excuse for a chariot get away. No, no, look at the image. I thought Beastman was supposed to build, anyway, Skeleton Archer is trying to hold the mage while the Kemrim, the Necro Sphinx, comes in just to kill him. So yeah, now we've basically won this engagement. We've taken out the, the Rise of Genos, 
Fifth of them age. Hawk just shoot me and hand me out. Now we start moving up towards the Saigon, which we sent the carrion on just to tie up and get some damage. Uh, him and the spearman. Now we're just now it's basically just we pretty much from we have don't even have Velum of Souls yet and the balance of power is in our favour. So here we go. Basically just marching up now to take out this Igor. He doesn't really have anything now to take out the Lecrian Hemrian Washings. These archers will be able to take care of the most of the main Vestigars. Electra coming in to deal with the uh, Pentagars. Damn it. Uh, Electra coming in to beat the Vestigars. Vestigars, Pentagars. Got it. Okay. And next time. Yeah, so Archer's basically just a tiny finishing off of this group here. Necro swings after their mage. Cetra is just going to just look at the health bar drop when he charges. It's amazing. I love Cetra. He's the best. So, we're basically just moving on. I think I send these guys after these. Empty guard as well. That Saigon does so much damage though. Oh yeah, in our own souls is gone. We have the. Usopti. Yeah. Come in, all things. Builds the mage. And some better guys. We pretty much finished up here. Archers still shooting. Just shooting at those pentagars. What else were they at before that rocket? My goodness. Oh yeah, he's basically just going to be using up all his ammo on the tomb guard, but that's fine. They really need to be using the ammo on the necro swings. Better just running over best of guys still. Archer is still shooting. Once that there on those come over and start shooting the rest. Let's see if we can get a nice crowd here. This one's a good one now. Well, Shafti and Skeleton Swordsman, Skeleton Warriors, I think they're called, yeah, fighting the Tiger. Archers, we trick the game, we don't to recruit these guys through the spears because, well, while you're not waiting to have spears, why don't you do that? These ones shoot with their flanks. These archers just shoot with those Tigers, Center Guards. Got mad. Now the Necro Sphinx goes against the uh, Saigar. And yeah. And then I think he bows out as soon as the Sentinel makes count there. It's pretty much over anyway, as soon as like that's gone the leadership of the shot. These Sentigars are out of ammo and they're not gonna be able to take out the Necro Sphinx, I don't think anyway. Yeah, so PG Gamma thing, and that's the thing I I think a lot of people don't get about Tomb Kings. It's like their lords all have really good support abilities, and like everybody's like, no, we just put them in a the big monster. Like I always, I tend to always put my Tomb King lord on a chariot because they have the my will be done ability. First of all, and the generic. Got just regular Tomb Kings. Do to do, do. Yeah, so Setra has this ability which gives him a constant effect uh, round. So extra weapon damage and charge defense in a 55 meter radius. And Undying Will, which is a plus 5 melee attack and defense of every unit around him as well. And all the magic besides from, what is it, this one, the Skull Storm and doo -doo -doo. Uh, this one as well, trying to do damage, even though I still, like all the rest are buffs or debuffs, 
this one is still kind of used more for its uh, lowering speed as well though. Anyway. Also, Archon has his ability, so he has the Libra Mortis to give people the whatever that is. The Tomb Blade, which is a heal around everyone, which is a bit too good of a support ability. And that's just to buff his magic. Kalida has her... The problem with Kalida is a lot of her kind of support stuff is to do with campaign. So, like giving her entire army poison attacks and the like. And that's... And then the standard Coop Tomb Pain just has a reanimate and undying will. Yeah. What else is there? Yeah, and Cetra's... This ability is amazing. So it's basically... Uh, Enfeebling foe that can hit multiple units. Uh, that can hit multiple units, yeah. That just it's amazing. Also, it blinds people. Not great if you're using it on a chariot, but... I mean, minus accuracy. But yeah. GG. Enough. Call it there.